My name is Michael. Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to enjoy an animal meet and greet. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. My name is Michael. I'm here with one of our animal handlers, Alina. And Alina, I'm noticing in your hand you've got this really colorful looking snake. I know a lot of people might have a phobia or a fear of snakes, but um, so what is this snake's name? This is Calypso and she is our resident Nelson's milk snake. Milk snake. milk snake. Why is it called a milk snake? Well, their name was an entirely misconception because when uh, farmers originally found these snakes, they found them out in their barns and they thought the snakes were actually stealing the milk from the cows. When in reality, they were eating the rats that were eating the hay inside of the barn. So they're not milk drinkers, but they are meat eaters. Yes. Awesome. And is Calypso venomous? Poisonous? What's the difference? Well, if you looked at her color, you probably would have thought right away she's something like a coral snake. Yeah, that's what I thought. The bright colorations are a warning, but in reality, she is a non-venomous constrictor. So constrictor, does that mean she likes to give hugs? Not exactly. Very tight hugs, but uh, only for her dinner. Okay. Yeah. And when she eats, I've heard that they can fit things bigger than their head mm -hmm. inside their mouth. Is that true? Yeah. So the rule of thumb with snakes is they can eat anything that's about three times the width of their head or about the width thickness of their body. How they do that is that snakes do not have a chin bone like we do. Instead, they have two halves of a jaw and then they have a stretchy ligament, something like your fingers, that is able to expand around their prey and they close back up. And now I notice Calypso keeps sticking out her tongue. Is she, is she being rude or what? She's going raspberries at you. Did you take a shower? I forgot to. She's probably smelling you. <laughs> so in reality, the snake's sticking out their tongue. It's not trying to be rude or stick her tongue at you. She's actually trying to figure out what is going on. So snakes actually do not hear the same way we do. She does not have any ear holes. Instead, she feels vibrations and she relies entirely on her sense of taste to smell. What that tongue does, if you notice that its snake's tongue is forked, is that it's able to pick up individual chemical scent particles on either side of the forked tongue, go right back in to, uh, through an organ called the Jacobson's organ, and it tells them exactly which side that scent came from. Helps with hunting and avoiding predators. And so she looks wet and slimy. Are they wet and slimy? No, if you want, you can go ahead and touch it right there and you tell me. Oh, that's actually very dry. Mm -hmm. So what you might notice, her scales are very glossy and shiny, and that's just a matter of helping her slither through her environment. Now these guys come from Central and South America, mainly Mexico. So you can imagine that rough terrain, you don't want to have scales that catch on everything. Gotcha. And so characteristic of reptiles, it's safe to say that they have dry, dry scaly, scaly skin. skin yes. Nice. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting Calypso. I know I did. We want to thank you for joining us, and we'll see everybody next time. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. We want to thank the Bachelor Foundation for sponsoring this video today, and make sure you subscribe below.